guys hi welcome back to my youtube channel my name is minma Hawi. for those who are new here if it's your first time to visit my channel thank you so much god bless you so so much i really really appreciate your presence here it really does mean a lot a lot just so you know okay so guys kindly subscribe like and share my videos almost remember to watch to the end it really does mean a lot also remember not to skip the video the, the adverts not the video the adverts <laughs> i've never i've never gotten used to saying all these things guys i forget you know, I talk, I'm, 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 I back a lot. So sometimes I forget to, to remind you guys so that you can maybe like and share my video and do all these things. But I'm catching up and with time, I'll be able, you know, to, 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 to master all these things. Okay. Yeah. So currently, I hope you, all of you are well from whichever place you're watching from. And I hope that you guys are just doing well, are well and doing well in God's grace. Okay. So now, back to Nyabohanse. Okay. So I saw a video. Of Max One saying he was he was attacked and someone stole his took some people three people took his money he he, disc, he took his money he took his phone and all these things. First off, we are so sorry, Max One, if at all that happened. We are very very sorry as the as the positive gang. We are we are very sorry. We really hope that things work for you and really hope that you recover and get well soon because we also say that you're not feeling well for some reason you've not been feeling well for a long time now and I have not taken notes. I've noticed that you've not been feeling well. So, as the positive gang, CEO, <laughs> did I just say that? <laughs> as the positive gang member, please, 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 we want to wish you the best and recover soon. But then now you have to be very straightforward with all these things that you're saying. You have to really, really, really talk, talk facts. Okay? You, you really have to be very, like, you know, maybe you're talking facts, but you're making them sound questionable. Okay, so you were like um, yesterday or the other day, I don't know, recently you were walking at night at 1 a.m., which you said 1 p.m. So 1 p.m. is during the day. So uh, let me correct you. It's 1 a.m. Okay, so you were walking and some you saw some people. You were coming from a, 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 supposedly a funeral or someone had died, a relative or a friend or a brother of yours had died, and you were coming from there. And coincidentally, you are walking alone. Normally you say you don't walk. You walk with people. You have bodyguards. You have these things. You you know, you're the one who scares people's lives in the village. So you're the villain, you're the villain champion, you know? So for, for, some, for some reason, this specific day, you're walking alone. Okay? At 1 a.m. at night, you're walking alone at 1 a.m. So my question is, where did your bodyguards go? And why were you walking alone? Okay? It doesn't make sense that you're walking alone at 1 a.m. Coming from a funeral, we know funerals in Kenya. Well, at night, people people are all normally in groups. So the reason why we are walking alone at this specific point, we don't understand. We beg to understand, or I beg to understand. Why is it that it it, it doesn't? It sounds fishy. It it sounds fishy. I know I know what I'm driving at. Okay, guys, just be patient with me. So number one, he has to tell us why he was walking alone because he brought this to the to the to, to YouTube. So we want to know why the hell you are walking alone. Okay. At 1 a.m., you know, 1 a.m. is a very, is a, like anywhere in the world, just walking 1 a.m. randomly because you had some things to do, da, 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 da. you're the lead leader, da, 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 da. doesn't make sense, okay? Doesn't add up. So, and then you saw, you, just, you saw you as you were walking, you saw three men dressed up with very long jackets, black jackets. You know, at night, I don't know how you go, you get to see that they're black, maybe it's black, or maybe it was navy blue, or maybe it was maroon, that looks like black. So, I don't, I didn't, I didn't really get how you notice it was black and then they flashed lights to on you on your face or on you and then you saw that they were wearing gumboots a uh, big gumboots and they had long jackets so like the description was just sounded like an undertaker you know undertaker you know undertaker from wrestling that's how the, so that when he described that that's what i understood like that, that those people really must have looked like undertaker and they recognized him okay you know when you're recognized you remember you told me people know you like i should ask people who you are I should ask people who you are. So, like, um, I have a question for you. All the, if people know who you are, why would they want to steal from you? Why would they care so much about what you have? You know? Why would they care about what you have? Huh? If you are very important, if you are very important, they should be protected. The moment they see you like this, they should run and say, oh my God, our youth leader or our boss is here. Let us, let us take him home. And But the question is, why were you even walking alone at 1 a.m.? You know, why were you even walking alone at 1 a.m.? That's a very ungodly hour for a married man to be walking out. Of course. Okay. I don't want to think what I'm thinking. But then now, why were you walking, why were you walking at, alone at 1 a.m.? 
Where were your friends? Where were your bodyguards? Hmm? And then they came out with something. They told you to get out, to remove your phone, and to get the, all the money that you have, and you gave them. And then now, you didn't want, because you had other things. You said you, you, you are a very well-protected man. You have things. You have weapons with you. So that's the impression you created out here. You have weapons with you. So you didn't want to engage them because, like, you, to engage them in anything. So you just gave them the phone and let them go or do what they want to do. And the phone and the money, the 6000 that was apparently donations for a funeral. Huh? You are working for don with donations from a funeral, cash. At 1 a.m. with like in cash with, at 1 a.m. at night. I have not known Nyabuhansi to be a very very insecure place, and you've painted a very funny picture about Nyabuhansi, by the way. Like you've re you're the one who has brought up these insecurity issues a lot, a lot. Like you're the one always in, in, in telling people about how insecure Nyabuhansi is, but we know for sure it's not that bad. You know, it's never that bad. You know. Like it every every other week it's you doing this every other week it's people doing every every other week it's people going through this every other week like you've really really painted it as a very very insecure place which is not the case, you know. I think you really have to be very honest. We go like what really really happened, because we we really don't feel like whatever you are saying really really does make sense, Max One. Hmm? Like whatever you're saying nowadays is very questionable. And we didn't even see you tagging uh, your mother, your, your mother, your, your woman called Modesta Lifestyle. Huh? We didn't see you tagging the Les Gang anywhere. Huh? Like, you normally, normally, no, Modesta Lifestyle is on every page, on every, on, every, on, on, on every title of your videos. But for some reason this time, you did not tag her. Why? What, like, what happened? And the support the Les Gang normally gives you, we don't, we give you, we don't see it as much. Why? And I saw a lot of Les Gang members questioning you, like, what, questioning you. There was someone who was on your case. Someone called, I think, Diane or someone. I'm not so sure. She was on your case trying to ask, asking very, 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 very important questions. And you, you are not even answering these important questions. So you want to know, like, what, what is it? And who is after you, Nyabu huh? Who Who really can be after you? you you've created, like... Like this, a situation in Yabuhansi whereby people feel like people are against each other, which is not the case. No one is against you. No one is after your life. Why were you, why, why will you, how will they know that you are somewhere and then you are somewhere in a village or in a funeral so that they can wait for you? If it really happened, that must have been maybe just a coincidence of a wrong place at the wrong time. Know that someone plans that to attack you or anything like that. No one plans to attack you. Because uh, if you, you, you really, really say you have nothing the way you normally say, who will be after you? Why would they want to be after you? And who, who, are, who, who are you threatening? Like, who's, who, who, like your success, who's, who, which person is your success threatening? Hmm? You need to stop portraying this picture as if there's against, some people in the village who are against you, who want you to take away your life. Huh? Maxwell, you need to stop doing, doing that nonsense. No one is after your life. If at all that happened, if at all that happened, that is something you, you, that you, you, it was just a coincidence. It's not like you, you know me, you threatened my life, right? life, nene, 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 life on camera. Why would no one is after you? Why, why would people be after you? Like, why would anyone be after you? You are really misleading your followers, Max. No one is after your life at all. What for? Why? You're telling people that you are giving people, even now, even if someone, you're giving, literally giving people information about how you look, you're telling people how your compound is not fenced, you are ready to die, you are ready for this death, you are ready for all these things. Why will you say such kind of things? You are, how insensitive can you be even to your family when you say such kind of things? Huh? And if something happens, God, God forbid something happens, people will start saying that it's like, it, 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 people will start saying it's the YouTube rivalry thing. Which is not the case. Because nobody cares about you like that. Huh? You're the one who goes threatening. You're the other day you're threatening. Say, you threaten everyone. Huh? And maybe what kinds of weapons do you have? You also want to know what kinds of weapons do you have that you work with. Huh? So that other people around the village can also be very careful about you. Because now, if, if you work with like anyone who is next to you may be, may be in danger now. Because why will you say something like that? If you have all those things, that those should be your personal stuff. Why do you tell the YouTube? Why do you tell people on YouTube that kind of information? 
as a person who works with the government, should be you should be well informed about such kind of things, Max One. There's no point of you going around saying such kind of nonsense. Huh? There's no, there's absolutely no reason for you to go and say such kind of nonsense. Huh? That you work, you have these things, you just didn't want to show them what you have. Or you don't, you didn't want just to get into a confrontation with such kind of people. Three men took your phone and it took, I, I, but I do not dispute maybe his phone. All these things happened. I'm not saying they didn't happen. Maybe, or like, I'm, I, I want to believe they happened. But how he's going about it is what is, like, really worrisome. You're trying to create gangs in the village. You're trying to create, like, uh, people, like, you're trying to divide people in that way. That we have this camp and that camp. So that if something happens, the other camp will be blamed. If something happens, the other camp will be blamed. Which is a very, very healthy like trend. I know this is not popular to the less gangs, yes, but that's the truth, guys. Sometimes you have to be very honest with this guy. Like what the, whatever path is just going is is like it, it's it's downhill. It's it's leading to very, 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 very bad. It's which will lead to a very, very bad situation. And I don't know why you cannot see it. The, the, the let's go and the comments. Oh, Max Swan, we are so sorry. We are very sorry. Oh my God! Like the hypocrisy you guys have. Sometimes you need to call these things out. Huh? I'm not saying that he didn't know and that people did not steal his money or people did, like people do not stay, take his phone. Like I want to believe that they did, but then how he goes about reporting all these things is what is like the problem. Max Ran, what is, what's up with you, man? Hmm? Me, I will talk about you. I will not stop. I told you I will talk about you. I will address your issues. Like really, you you you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not whatever you're doing is not okay. We don't really want to see you talking. Like if if I told something like that happened, okay. You if if it happened, just say it happened. You said you did not report. Sometimes you say you reported the incident. Reporting or not reporting is not even important. But then now just like go, just report like report it to people who follow you in a good way, so that you don't it doesn't create a lot of enmity and animosity towards other people around you. Already there's an emotion here, but you keep falling it each and every week with a new story of graphic stuff happening around you people, which is absolute nonsense. Now the money that was stolen, that belonged to the funeral, you came here saying, oh, you lost the money, the money, like, no, the conversations, no one is around about the money that was lost, the money that, the money, the money this, the money that, money this, money that, I will money this, money that, I will do this money, 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 like, Come on, man. Hmm? For a person like you, six thousand something, like some like this, you can always replace. Though that's like forty dollars. Hmm? We really need to be like uh, very sens sensible people of the community. We really need, as a leader, you call that you call yourself. You need to be someone who who, who drives the community like in a positive, like in a good way. You try to be way things. If something like that happened you, like, right now, what you should have done as a leader that you are, you should call yourself and you know if you really know these people. If you really know these people, by the way, me like me, my laptop was stolen the other day. I don't know who stole it. The CCTV just got installed right now. If I knew today, it's very hard to point at someone because this is a very very populated area. So it's very hard to point at someone and say it was you, it was you, it was you. So I reported to the management of the institution of these these apartments, you know. And he, let me tell you, like getting something like that back in Kenya here will take you like twenty years or thirty years, or you may never even get it back most of the times. But when you know the people who attacked you, and you come to tell here people that if you that 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 you there's someone who is after you, if you know this people, they are the people who are after you, then you should address them. They are not on YouTube. They aren't on YouTube. Are, are the people who attacked you on YouTube, are they YouTubers? Are they people from, like, if you know them, really you know them. Right now you should be at the police station reporting that, that that's a very, very dangerous crime. That, that is threatening your life. Why should you come here and tell us you know them, you know people are, people are after you, all these kinds of things, trying to create very, trying to create, like whatever you're saying is so salty. Hmm? If something happens to you, people, like, people, like you know what will happen. 
like crimes crimes are all over the world like people talk about crimes people crimes happen each and every day you don't you didn't tell your wife that all these things happened you didn't tell but then you chose to tell youtubers like that should be the first person you should have told my, my husband is the first person i'll tell like oh my god i've been my laptop has been stolen that's the first thing i report Or your boyfriend should be like, or your girl, or your man, or someone just close to you. Of course, in Africa, things are done differently. Of course, guys, also in Africa, men, men, men do things. Most of the times we go, just how they, like, because of, just, I don't know. There's just that, men tend to do things the way they want, you know. Maybe without a lot of involvement of women, or maybe protecting, maybe you're protecting your wife, or anything like that. But this has happened. They, well, how, well, would they go to the question she should ask as a wife, where is your phone? Like, with the phone that you had, where is it? So you, how will you not explain that? How will you not explain to, how, how will you explain that you don't have the phone? Like, where, where will you say the phone went? Maybe you have another phone, maybe an extra phone, which is okay. But then now, how will you explain the other phone, where the other phone went? Hmm? As, as a youth leader, you should be championing transparency and honesty, even in marriages. Like right now, you are married. Most people there from the village are not married. You know, you should be able to, like, okay, guys, such kinds of things happen. The first person you should be able to tell are the members of your family, especially your wife if you are married. That's the picture you're trying, you should be trying to portray out there. Hmm? And if people really, you know, people, if today me, I know, if I know like someone is after my life, or maybe for example, maybe Sergio is after my life, or maybe Nasu is after my, after my Yugmi is after my life, I'll, I'll shout and scream and say, and call out these names. On camera, I'll say, I saw these people, I know them, you and you and you, the three of you, you attacked me yesterday and took my phone. That's what you expected when you reported that kind of information to us. But you chose not to, 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 to report something like that. Mm. No, it, it, people start wondering who could this be. Now, who is this who is after your life? When you know who is who, who and, and actually, if those people were after your life, you know what would have happened. But clearly, no one was after your life. People just wanted to get to, if at all they were there, if at all they were there, they could, they, 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 they could have been done with you right now. We could be having a different story. Maybe then we could have been suspecting, okay, who is this now? Who did this to Max One? Who did this to Max One? But those people just took what they wanted and went. They didn't leave you because they know you. If they knew you and they had any malicious thing, they could have done that immediately. Maybe malicious in terms of maybe taking away your life the way you said it. Or harming you physically the way you said it. They didn't leave you because they know you or you are very special. Thieves don't have that kind of empathy. They didn't even search you because I know thieves, like Kenyan thieves, they will search you. They will ransack everything. They will even look inside their hair to see if there is something you are hiding. My friend... You've not met Kenyan. They will search everything. They will even remove your clothes. Even take those clothes you're wearing. Hmm? And they, and they accept it to just take what you gave them and let you go. The three of them with weapons. Hmm? They decided to take, oh, let's, let's take you. It's like the, the 6000 you gave out. That's the $40 you gave out. And they found that's it. We don't want anything else. That's it. Because I know how Kenyan things behave. Right now you could be having something. They must at least do something. They cannot harm you. They may not harm you. They may not beat you up. They may not. But they they search you thoroughly. You know. They, it's a very traumatizing experience. I'm not trying to take away your experience from you. But uh, we know how things go. Hmm? So you whatever you're saying does not even add up. The conversation was about the six. Like it was more about more about like what was stolen from you than what. What the what the, the, the what, then what the experience that you had, it was about the six thousand that was taken from you. More, more it was, the six thousand was more was the the conversation. More than what happened to you that that traumat that traumatizing experience. You know, guys, like sometimes, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we judge a lot. Maybe in, in this YouTube, maybe we judge a lot. You know, and we have a lot of expectations from people. That's also true. But also what we put out, out here, what we say out here or what we put out here should be very, 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 very credible. 
I showed you how even my door was knocked down. Like my, they, they, they broke, they literally broke. I'm not saying my, 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 how I portrayed my, my experience was better than how that one is. But how we say it and the impact it leaves really leaves a lot to be desired, guys. We need to be people who say things, especially when you're ready. Like, can you stop bringing this drama each and every day? Like, there's a drama, there's something that happened. Next week, we'll have something else that has happened. Next week, we'll have something else that has happened. Maybe, like, and then it, normally, this, this conversation just rotate around money. Huh? Seeking, like, I'm sorry to say, but this sounds like seeking sympathy. So that people may feel, oh, so the 6,000 that was with the funeral was stolen. Okay, let me send you something. Let me do this thing. Let me do all these things. Hmm? Maybe how you report things could be, I don't know, maybe how you say things or report things could be, could, could not be like, uh, maybe like it's not, it's not your, your stronghold or, or where you, the place you shine most. But at least, man, huh? like in the village, there, who, who has ever been after your life? You just started the YouTube channel the other day. And for some, why didn't you talk Modesta? And why haven't we seen Modesta talking about these kinds of things? I can you assume this story could have been said by any other person, even Mayugno? Remember when Mayugno were attacked for, for not for, for when they said they, 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 they were arrested? Do you remember how do you remember how they were attacked for that? Lazy gang, do you remember how you attacked Mayugno when they said that him and Mapupo were arrested? You called them, they lied, they were trying to steal from people. Do you remember? Honestly, do you remember how you went after him? You, you lazy gang, you really went after him and he was truly, you tried to ask where is the OB, where is the evidence, why did they report, why, why, like all those questions you were asking. Why are you not asking the same kinds of questions right now? Why are you, we not seeing you asking the same kinds of questions? We are here now trying to, to just uh, brush things under the rug. You're brushing things under the rugs, literally. You're not, you're not speaking with the same energy. You're not asking for evidence whatsoever. When the Virginia said the same thing, you attacked him. When, like, Mayugno said the same thing, you attacked him. When Mara said the same thing, when he talks about the flowers, remember how you behaved? You literally went after him, almost like you went after him. So what does that say? What does that speak about you people? What does it, what does that speak about you people? Hmm? You call yourselves you're the ones who who you you're very balanced. You give you 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 you, you kind of how do you call it? Yeah? You give credit where it's due. You you know how. But we, Max Swan has done a lot of very questionable stuff. But you kind of defend and want to. You don't want him to be like um uh, to be. <laughs> To, 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 uh, to appear like he's doing something wrong. Huh? You, do, you, not, you do not want that at all. We can see it. Just because you don't talk about it all the time doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. We, we see the hypocrisy you guys have. And it's shocking that you guys behave like that. He, he did not tag Modesta Lifestyle or the Lazy Girl. He did not. His, 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 his video was clear of Modesta's names or mentions. And I've not even seen Modesta comment on that video. Hmm? We haven't seen. Because the, the, his toy boy is like always having something this after this, that after that, that after that. Every day he has something new. And I think Modesta is almost getting fed up with these stories. The other week he was terrifically crying. Oh, I'll change. I'll do all this money. You're my gang. You're my family. You're my family. You're my family. You're my family. But your family is not advising you accordingly. Your family is not bringing you any form of justice. They're not advising you. They're not taking you seriously. Because you you've become a clown. Every day is just a, star, a sad story. Every day we just get to hear only sad stories from you. Every day it's a sad story. This person died, that person died, that person died, that person died. Those people died, all this happened. Someone stole from me. In the, like, every day it's something sad. Every day we eat, like, there's nothing, like, we, there's no day we just see, like, normal flowing content, things happening. What of, or even your wife. You have, you have a very beautiful wife, Max, one. Huh? We, get, we never get to see her, like, really, 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 you know. 
we just get to hear about stories that are sad all the time. When it comes to you, you always have this pensive mood, always sick all the time, always going to the hospital, always taking medicine, always doing all these things. Why is it? Is there no day that you are just happy and just energetic like any other YouTuber from Nyabohansen? Is that there's no day we'll see you like just being happy, like you know, embracing other people, even congratulating. Like, come on. Your stories are always like, you know, guys, today I'm not feeling very well. I have to go take medicine. You know, it's like you're sick all the time. Go, go, I'm not saying like being sick is bad, you could be sick. But then now, like, I don't know if you guys get my point. I know sickness is not like anyone's portion, and I really hope and pray that you 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 get better. But I think you're using this sickness thing like I don't know, like I don't know what you're driving at with this at this point. If you're really sick, you need to be in the hospital and be admitted. You I even saw you saying, "Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be admitted. I don't know if I'm going to be." You are sick. Why do you, Why do you even get the time to record yourself to do such kind of things, saying such kind of things? Hmm? If you're really sick, you know when you're sick. Hmm? Why do you get the energy and the time to say such kind of things? Instead of being, to, if you you can predict that you're going to be, and uh, uh, maybe um, you're going to be admitted. You know, being, being admitted means that you when you're admitted to hospital. It means that it, that's very serious. From the other week now, it's been almost two weeks. Of, I told you, if you're sick, just take a break. Go check on yourself, man. Just get better. We enjoy seeing you. We enjoy we enjoy talking about you. We want to see we want to see yeah uh, want to see you here for a long time. Guys, I don't know. I think I've said so much. This guy sometimes, I don't know. I don't know if you could see. Uh, I, I saw this quarrel, carrot's name trying. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, get please, please, please. Like, oh, like, I, if, if someone else, if it was someone else, they don't like who said such kind of story. Guys, honestly, honestly, let's go. Honestly, assuming it was the Virginia saying the such kind of stories. Could you be talking like that? Could like the conversation be like like what you are seeing on, about 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 uh, Max One? Like could you be like so gentle like that? I'm even talking about this one. I'm, I'm being I'm being sensitive. I don't want to really go hard on him. You know, but you guys choose to kind of, hmm? but you don't want to correct him. Anyway, guys, I really hope, like, uh, let's be, be better, like, let's try and be just, represent our communities in a good way. It's not always, like, just representing people, like, in the, your community negatively all the time. Hmm? Like, yeah, like, this was such a coincidence that he was, was the only person who was working for a funeral. At 1 a.m., where was he heading? Without his wife's knowledge, or anyone's knowledge for that matter. If you guys are smart, the lesbian, you as smart as you call yourself, as maybe we are not as smart as you, but you call yourselves very smart individuals. Hmm? You you can you can see what you can clearly see what I'm saying. If you don't see this, then maybe I don't. You belong to the same cocoon. Huh? You need to be. You need to do better. Honestly, you need to do better. You honestly need to do better. That's the truth. That's the reality. Represent your community better, Max One. As a youth leader, those, those are not the things you're, you're supposed. Some things as a youth leader, those are things you you you, you, you like. You're, you're dirty linen. And some things, some things. Of course, you have to say them. You report them. But you don't. No, no. Don't need your visitors. People, people look. Nyabu has a touristic place. They want to come there at some point. You know, represent. Come. They want to come there. They want to. You know. So you start all this thing there, Bara, they were thieves, people came, people killed, people did what, like, like it, it, from the youth leader, it, a lot of negativity comes from you about that village, which is not okay. I know I'm not your favorite person, but as your countryman, I, like, you need to change how you portray your community. I, I know I'm not, I know I'm not, like, I'm not saying I am, but I know I'm not. When you see this, I don't even know if you go, whatever you're going to say, but then now, you need to do better as a man. As a youth leader that you call yourself.
you, you really need to do better. Represent people, people represent us better. Maxwell, you can do better than this, man. Seriously. Don't be the drama king. Don't be the village champion who knows everything and sees everything whenever he chooses to. Represent people better. Anyway, guys, that's all I had to say today. I really want to thank you guys for being here. Thank you for just listening to me, talking to me and all these things. And, you know, the comment, leave your comments down there of what you think about this one situation that has really happened, that has happened in the village. Just, just please leave a comment section down below, you know. I want to know what you really think about this. I really I honestly want to know what you really think about this. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much. I love you so much, so, 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 so much. I can't wait to, to see you on the next video, okay? Take care of yourself. Please like, share, and subscribe my video. It will go a long way, okay? Thank you so much, and God bless you. See you next in the next video.